Hello, and welcome to another Actifio Tech Tip. In this short video, we will cover the discovery and protection of an Oracle database running on a file system. Before we get started, there are a few things I'd like to cover with you about the protection of Oracle data. Oracle data protection happens in four easy steps. Step one, add the servers that host the Oracle databases. Step two, discover the Oracle database as an application. Step three, define the Actifio policy template and resource profile according to your required RPOs and RTOs. Lastly, step four is to assign the Actifio policy template and resource profile to the discovered Oracle databases. To get started, let's begin by logging into the Actifio user interface. Click the shortcuts button on the lower left-hand corner of the screen next to the gear icon. Click on manage applications and then select add hosts. You will see an add new host window appear on the screen. In this window, enter the host name and IP address of the database host. Next, click Add Host. You will see a host added message appear at the lower right hand corner of your UI. You can now see the new host under the left navigation pane of the Domain Manager under the Hosts tab. Open the Application Manager screen by selecting the service icon at the bottom of the screen in the Actifio desktop. Select Settings, again, the small gear icon at the lower left-hand corner of the screen, to display the Application Manager service menu and select Discover Apps from the menu. From that menu, you will select the Use Existing Host button. Enter the database host name in the search box and check the box for the desired database host. Next, click Discover. Now on the navigation pane on the left-hand side of the Actifio desktop, all of the Oracle databases on your Oracle host are now listed and discovered. Next, we will protect these Oracle databases. From the navigator pane on the left-hand side of your desktop, select App, Local, Oracle. From there, you will select the Oracle database you want to protect. Verify that the Protect tab is highlighted on the top menu. If it is not currently highlighted, please highlight it now. Select the template which you have created for your databases in the SLA Architect from the Template drop-down. In a similar way, also select the profile which you have created for your databases in the SLA Architect from the Profiles drop-down. Click the Advanced Settings link in the upper right corner of the screen. Fill in the values in Advanced Settings Options. For more help, please refer to the Oracle DBA Runbook to understand the values of each property under Advanced Settings. Next, click the Protection button. To verify that protection of the database has begun, click on the System Monitor icon at the bottom of the screen and you can view your snapshot job in progress. You are now protecting your Oracle database. Thank you for joining us for another YouTube Tech Tip video. If you like the content you're seeing on this channel, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you will be alerted to any future content.